Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be more of a sit down video talking about my skin and the history of my skin and what it's kind of done throughout the years and some of my favorite products and how I've treated different issues uh, relating to my skin. But before I sit down to do that, I just wanted to show my skin without any makeup on so you can see um, the different blemishes that I have along the side of my face here, which is largely due to hormone imbalances. And as you can see, I have them on the other side as well. So I just, on my skin right now, I just have moisturizer, SPF, and an eye cream. And I'm just about to apply my makeup, but I wanted to give you guys a look at how my skin is without any filter or makeup because sometimes it's hard to see in an edited video what someone's skin actually looks like. So before I go into talking about the issues with my skin and what I have used in the past that has helped, I just wanted to give you a look into what my skin actually looks like. That took me about 10 minutes and um, I just did a light application of makeup for work. Um, if I'm going out sometimes I put a little bit more contour on but this is perfect for every day just a light um, layer of a CC cream and as you can see you can still kind of see my blemishes showing through which is totally fine because we're not trying to cover up our skin to look like a mask. But yeah that's just my simple everyday makeup routine and then I will sit down and share my skincare journey and some of the specific products that I use that have really helped. These are the products I just used on my face. I keep everything in this small makeup bag. I don't really have too much makeup um, because I like to try to buy things that are a little higher quality. Um, this Fit Glow beauty foundation is really nice. It has a lot of skincare ingredients and I've been using this and loving it. And I just apply it with a damp sponge. And then for my brows, I have my Gimme Brow Gel and I fill in the tails and the um, arches of my brow with this. I do have my brows microbladed, but um, sometimes I want them a little bit more defined. And this uh, Glow Time Jane Iredell, I've talked about before, I like to use um, more under my eyes because it's a little lighter. And then this NARS blush is really pretty. It's like a watermelon pink color. If I can get this open. This is a nice kind of corally watermelon that's really nice for summer. But yeah, these are just um, some of the products that I use for every day. And I will get into the skincare, more of the skincare ingredients later. Think I could hear your heartbeat Ding out your chest And your sweat And your palms just won't rest For a second you'll regret it Almost wanna take it back But it's too late Cause you said it I hope you meant it Don't be embarrassed now Hi guys 
guys, it's a couple days later. The day I filmed the intro, so Friday, I actually got my second vaccine and it totally wiped me out for that uh, whole evening and the next day, uh, Saturday. So I was in bed, not wanting to film or anything. So it's now Sunday, I'm feeling much better. I'm really glad that I got my second shot and that's just a total relief. But anyways, I'm here now and I'm so excited to share my skin journey and some of the products that I'm using on a daily basis and loving. A little bit about my skin history. I have pretty kind of combination skin. My skin has been through so much over the years. I've struggled with cystic acne, hormonal breakouts, really dry skin, oily patches, um, different kind of like dermatology issues like rashes and stuff like that over the years. So it's been honestly like an upward battle trying to deal with my skin ever since I was probably 14 years old. Um, I was on hormonal birth control for my cycles since I was about 17. So that helped to clear up my skin. Um, but it, it didn't kind of like fix the underlying issues relating to diet and hormone and gut health. So when I came off that about four years ago now, um, my skin really flared up and I had to kind of deal with fixing the root issue of my skin, which for me was a lot of gut health and hormonal um, imbalances. So my skin really um, kind of took a turn for the worse the, a few months after I went off hormonal birth control back in 2017. Um, I just was getting these crazy rashes just out of the blue all over my face and neck and they weren't going away with like any topical things I was doing like hydrocortisone creams. I was going to like the doctor and it was just getting worse and it was kind of like these tiny itchy bumps all over the surface of my skin and especially on my eyelids. It was kind of like eczema but um, I have struggled with eczema before on different parts of my body so I knew it wasn't that. I knew it was something different so I ended up working with a naturopath and found out that it was actually a parasite infection that was like living in my body that was causing all of these rashes so I treated that with different um, kind of supplements and diet changes and lifestyle changes and that eventually went away thankfully but then after that, I started dealing with more cystic breakouts and hormonal acne relating to hormone imbalances. So that was a challenging time for sure because it felt like no matter what I tried, um, you know, the doctor would say, just start from scratch with your skincare routine, throw everything out. You're probably allergic to what you're using and start again. And I would do that over and over again and nothing would change. And the naturopath would say things like, oh, it's things you're eating, so cut out sugar, cut out um, gluten, cut out dairy, and that should help. And nothing really helped. So it felt very frustrating because I was spending lots of money on all these different skincare routines. I would feel like I would buy a whole new skincare system and be using it, nothing would change, and then I would have to like throw them away and try something else again. And I was just constantly on different diets and doing different skincare things and nothing was seeming to work. So it was a frustrating time because um, I felt like I was living a pretty healthy lifestyle. I was eating clean, doing all of the things that I was supposed to do, but nothing was kind of fixing the issue for me. So that's kind of when I took a deeper look at hormone imbalances and I actually got my hormones tested um, through like a saliva test where they uh, send it off to a lab and they test like your progesterone and estrogen levels and both came back um, extremely imbalanced. So that was a sign to me that it wasn't anything I was doing with my skincare or my lifestyle that was causing these breakouts. It was like a deeper hormonal issue. I've been on a journey definitely with my skin to try to balance all of these gut health and hormone issues. So my skin still isn't perfect. I know I showed um, at the beginning of this video a clip of my skin without makeup. And right now I do have makeup on. I'm sitting by a window, but you can still see um, some breakouts at the side of my face here. The side of my face is really where my breakouts kind of like have been there. And I don't know if anyone else has struggled with this watching, but if you have um, had cystic 
acne before you know it's extremely painful and there's like nothing that you can do to get rid of it it's not like on the surface it's not like a pimple that you can kind of like get rid of yourself or put on a clearing mask and get rid of it that way it's like very deep in the skin and it's kind of like a painful lump that is just present on the skin and it's like really inflamed and painful so that's kind of what I've been dealing with at this side of my face here and especially around um, the fall of 2020 so last fall it was really really bad and it was making me so self-conscious because um, you know it was so inflamed so painful and it felt like it wasn't going away and I was doing you know um, different facials I was changing up my diet again working with um, kind of skincare experts and stuff like that and nothing was fixing it so I actually went to a dietitian last fall and that really really helped my skin because it kind of helped me figure out the different foods that were inflaming my skin and for me that had to come down to dairy, sugar, alcohol and all kinds of like inflammatory foods that can cause extra inflammation in the body. So cutting those out or limiting those really help me with my skin and I notice when I do kind of like you know have a lot of dairy one week or have a few too many drinks one weekend then I really can see that in my skin so just for me personally I try to make sure that I'm on top of eating in a way that helps my body not be inflamed so all that to say is our skin is not perfect and it's never going to be um, but sometimes you really have to go outside the box and trying different things and working with different people to try to figure out what's the deeper surface level of the skin. Like for example, um, just going on birth control might clear your skin at a surface level, but it's not gonna fix the deeper issue that is underlying like a hormone imbalance or a gut health issue. So sometimes those different medications um, can kind of mask what your body is trying to tell you. So sometimes you need to remove those to figure out the deeper underlying issue, which is what I had to do. So that's kind of like the history of my skin and the challenges my skin has been through. But um, now I wanted to just share some of the different products that I use on a daily and weekly basis. Um, if anyone knows me, you'll know that I'm a skincare junkie. I absolutely love skincare and taking care of my skin. Um, I was that girl at sleepovers um, in high school who would just be doing like a 12 step skincare routine at a late sleepover when my other friends were not really into that as much. And But I really do love taking care of my skin. I find it very therapeutic and relaxing to do. So yeah, I'll just, I don't really have a rhyme or reason for sharing these different products. This is just what I'm currently using and it's in no particular order, but I just love to share some of the products that I have been loving and have been working for me. So um, this is a nice daily gentle scrub that I use a couple times a week. I find over exfoliating my skin like on a daily basis for example is not healthy for my skin because it really strips it and kind of dries it. So I use a scrub maybe like one or two times a week to just kind of like scrub off the week um, you know like makeup buildup and dead skin and stuff like that but this is a really gentle scrub this is by doTERRA and it's a peppermint kind of invigorating scrub with just these gentle beads that I use in the shower maybe once a week and for a daily um, cleanser I actually just mostly cleanse my face at nighttime like I do a really deep clean like a double cleanse to remove um, my makeup and really clean my skin at night and then in the morning I found I actually just kind of like uh, rinse my face with water and that's been working for me because I was finding um, washing it in the morning and at night to be too drying for my particular skin type so this is a really nice um, natural face wash called seize the day by wild and it's like a creamy gel cleanser it smells like oranges it's really nice and gentle so this is one of my favorites and then in terms of moisturizers I actually let's do serums first because I think at least from what I've heard you're supposed to kind of like apply your different treatment um, serums kind of like before moisturizer and then after moisturizer do like your oils kind of like working from the lightest up to the heaviest in terms of like consistency 
So this is a product that has really, really helped me with my breakouts. It's uh, the Pi Perfect Balance Blemish Serum with Copaiba and Zinc. And Zinc is actually a really amazing product for helping with um, kind of inflamed skin. Like if you have um, acne or eczema on your skin, Zinc is a really nice, a good product to include in both your skincare and in supplements. I actually take um, zinc every day in a capsule form as well and these two products like with the zinc in the skincare and the zinc supplement have really helped me with um, just kind of calming down that inflammation but this um this pie product is really nice um, and natural and I just um, wash my face and then apply this and let it sink in for a few minutes before I follow up with a moisturizer and this product is one that I use probably two or three times a week in the evening because I kind of like to do more um, skincare in the evening so it can really sink into my skin. I can load up on all the different amazing products and have those sink into my skin. And in the morning, I kind of keep it simple with just, you know, moisturizing and SPF and stuff like that. And another serum that I really love is this Yarrow Palm by doTERRA. And it's kind of a blend of different um, essential oils, but it has yarrow root in it, which is amazing for the skin. Um, I'll see if I can show you, but it's this really pretty bright blue. And that's the natural color from the yarrow root. And yarrow is amazing for clearing blemishes and kind of rejuvenating the skin. So I use this a couple times a week as well. And I put it on uh, before my moisturizer. The two moisturizers I've been using I kind of alternate depending on just what I'm feeling. I like to usually use a lighter one in the morning and a bit of a heavier one at night. Um, at night, I've been using this Caudalie Vino Source uh, Cream Sorbet Hydration. This is a really amazing product. Caudalie is um, one of my favorite skincare brands. They use a lot of really amazing ingredients and they're like made in France and it's just a really nice, uh, good quality product. So I use this at night. And then in the morning, I've been using this Lux Botanicals Kajelia, I think, and it's a really light gel consistency. So it's perfect for the morning. And it says it's ideal for combination, oily or sensitive skin. So I put this on after any serums. And then this is an oil. I like to follow up my moisturizer with an oil, especially at nighttime, to just help lock everything in. And this is the Aurora Apricot and Grapefruit Facial Oil. It's really light. Um, grape, um, grape seed oil is the base, I believe, which is a really kind of light consistency that stinks into the skin and it doesn't uh, break me out, which is great. So I use that one. And then this isn't a natural product, but I like to use this in the spring and summer. It's the Saint-Tropez Glow Boosting Vitamin C and D Bronzing Water Serum. And this is one of my favorite products to use um, in the spring and summer because it really adds a nice boost of glow to the skin. It's like a gradual kind of tanner um, with skincare ingredients as well. So it has different vitamins in there and I like to put this on in the morning and at night. Uh, just one pump of this during the spring and summer to really help um, keep uh, that nice glow to the skin. Um, another oil that I like to alternate with the um, in combination with the Aurora grapefruit um, oil is this Biosant Squalane Vitamin C Rose Oil. This is just a little sample I got, but I'm going to definitely repurchase the um, full size. It smells absolutely amazing and rose is a great ingredient for brightening the skin and it's another light oil that doesn't uh, break you out and it's good to use morning and night. So that's one of my favorites. And with the little sample of Biosance, I got this um, other product from the, from the line. It's the Biosance Squalane and Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. So this is something I use, um, you know, a few times a week at night. It's lactic acid. I'm still trying to like learn all about the different acids like lactic acid and retinol and all those different things. Um, but I know that they're great for kind of like exfoliation and rejuvenating the skin, but this um, product has been amazing and I would love to repurchase the full size of this. And then we're almost done here. So those are the 
I don't use all of those every day. It's kind of just what I have on rotation when I, whatever I feel like, um, but I usually just do, you know, cleanse the face, use um, some type of serum, use a moisturizer, a face oil, and then an SPF and an eye cream. So that's usually what I do. I have been using this summer is the Salt and Stone SPF 30. It's a mineral-based sunscreen, so it's more natural. It doesn't have any harsh chemicals. Um, and it's perfect to use under makeup. So I apply this in the morning um, after I've done all my skincare routine as the last step before makeup. And once I kind of like do all of my skincare and put on my SPF, I usually let that sink in for like maybe 10 minutes before doing my makeup, just so it's a nice base and things aren't sliding around. But this is a really great product and it's super natural and it smells amazing. And for my eye cream, I, I splurged back in the fall when Sephora had a sale and I got this um, Tatcha the Pearl um, eye cream. It's kind of like for me, it was, a it was a dual purpose product because it's like a concealer, as you can see. It looks very much like a concealer. So I actually don't tend to use concealer on a daily basis when I use this product. Um, and I just use it in the morning um, because it does have that kind of like concealer consistency. I don't really tend to use that at night. But I just um, dab it under my eyes and it has amazing skincare ingredients. This is a Japanese brand, I believe, and all of their products are extremely high quality and their packaging is beautiful. And then a, a couple times a week, I use this um, I Envy Vita Brow uh, Serum just to kind of brush through my brows and condition them. I use this on my eyelashes as well, just to condition them. I can't forget about my lip serum. I love or this, um, it's kind of like a lip balm slash serum. It's the Biosance Squalene and Rose Vegan Lip Balm, and it nourishes and plumps the lips. This is what I have on my lips right now. It's one of my favorite um, products to use because it's not sticky. Um, no one wants a sticky lip gloss feel, especially when you have to wear a mask or something like that. But this just sinks into the skin. It's really beautiful, and I use it morning and night. I just thought I'd mention a tool that I like to use um, during the morning and night, but especially in the morning, it's my Gua Sha Stone. This is, I know there's tons of different brands and there's probably one a lot higher quality than this, but I love to use this just kind of to wake up under my eyes to help relieve tension in my jaw. And I just kind of like do a little facial massage with this in the morning and at night a couple times a week. And I've really found it helps to like depuff my skin and to also kind of like work on any tight areas. Like if you struggle with clenching your jaw, this might be something that you want to use. And it helps to kind of like drain any lymph nodes under the neck as well. It feels amazing, especially if you run it under cold water before you use it, then it's like really nice and cooling in the morning. And then just one more thing I wanted to mention that I've been taking is this Pure Encapsulation Hair, Skin, and Nail Supplement. Uh, I've been using this for about two months now and I've definitely noticed it improving my skin um, in some way. There's um, some amazing ingredients in here um, like zinc, niacinamide, biotin, which are all great for the skin. So that's all that I have to share in terms of products, but I just wanted to mention that this is my personal skincare routine. Everyone is totally different. And like I mentioned, it can be a really uphill battle trying to figure out the products that work for you and the diet and lifestyle that work for you to help make sure that your skin is healthy and thriving. And it can take a lot of trial and error to figure some of those things out. So I feel like over the years, I've definitely have um, some like tools in my belt to help combat my skin and some professionals that I can reach out to when I'm struggling, like a dietitian, naturopath, and skincare experts to kind of like help me figure out what's going on with my skin so I don't feel so alone in dealing with my skin because even though it sounds kind of trivial, our skin can really be something that we're self-conscious of. You know, if you're really struggling with like big breakout areas on your skin, it can be, um, you know, damaging to your self-confidence because you feel like you're trying everything you can and nothing is really helping. So 
it's definitely important to pay attention to those areas of our physical appearance that really kind of like are making us feel insecure and try to help that if we can. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed putting together this video and if you have any um, skincare recommendations or favorite products, please let me know in the comments. And if you wanna see any other kind of skincare focused videos, let me know too, because I love skincare and I love talking about taking care of the skin. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.